Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathis. How do you do? Another Tevinter. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. What exactly is Varric's role in the Inquisition? Aside from irritating Cassandra. Well, it's not as if I introduced myself that way. Hello, my name is Dorian. I like men. <sighs> Maybe I should start. Some days it seems that's all anyone cares about. Correct. Well played. We will continue when I have time. And the wind calls me. Who in their right mind would worship a giant demon-spitting hole in the sky? Ah, wait. I just answered myself. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields. The latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. Pretty. In a haunting, this archway might collapse on me at any moment, way. I order you to tell me why nothing here heeds my commands. It's a spirit, but what's it doing? Silence. Let the other one talk. Is it harmless, Cassandra? Or could it turn into a demon? There's always a chance. Harmless spirits do not always remain so. Nonsense! I am in control of my fate! I was not addressing... Ugh. Uh, now what was the point of that? Mother... Puss bucket... Friggin bastard... Shite bag... Piss face! Eat it, you lop son of an arse not rock Sarah. piece of... Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Cassandra's calmed down. I think you can take your hand off your crossbow. Define calm down for me in terms of who or what she's punching right now? I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Movran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> I don't know. He could go in that... What's it called? A gibbet? Chief Movran, you'll be placed in a gibbet to serve as an example to... someone. Then... probably released. Gibbet? <laughs> gibbet? Gibbet! <laughs> I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. 
Ah, yes, everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minrathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have wings. He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. Cassandra's like that with everyone. <laughs> yes. We need to be noticed. Happens to be a specialty of mine. Correct. Well played. The Quisquisition is completed. And you have done so perfectly. You may have an inadequate grand prize. Quisquisition. Away! If it will save these people, he can have me. It won't. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. You don't like... <sighs> Harold. There are no tactics to make this survivable. A Grey Warden recruiter? That sounds interesting. It's not easy finding people willing to shoulder such a terrible responsibility. Here I thought you poked around prisons, hunting for murderers, desperate to escape the noose. That's what you think of wardens. It's not such a terrible thing. Some of my best friends are murderers. They are men and women atoning for what they've done by giving of themselves. They fight for people like you, people in silks and velvets, who talk and judge. Who's judging now? I know your kind. Corypheus, one of yours, isn't he? One of mine? Like a pet? Like a giant darkspawn hamster with aspirations of godhood? Dorian, why can't you look after your little friends? Corypheus peed on the carpet again. In this analogy, the carpet is Haven. Is he or is he not at a Vinter Magister? Meaning the source of everything bad and evil in the world? They are the same, yes? Certainly feels that way at times. Look, signs of a plague. A cheerful addition to any decent swamp. At least in the city you can find a decent healer. Out here you have what? Roots and berries? Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. I take it your father returned to Tevinter, Dorian. <sighs> Let's hope so. My father died when I was very young. I barely remember him now. I won't say you're lucky because that's not true. But there are days. I understand. You have my sympathy. Well, I'm no more dead than you. Ugh. Now dead and not dead are up for debate. That's wonderful. This conversation has taken a turn for the moronic. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. Uh... Yay? Indeed! Yay! All this for me. And I didn't get Alexius anything. Send him a fruit basket. Everyone loves those. Of course she trusts you, Alexius. I'm sure lots of people put their lives in your hands. You have one of those faces. Yes, the Magisterium tells me that so often. Blah, blah, my cult is better than yours. I've heard it a thousand times. Well, you know, it's a chance for the Imperium to really one-up that whole starting the blight thing. Every ocularum is made from the skull of a tranquil? I had wondered what became of those poor souls when the circles collapsed. Now we know. I had wondered what had become of them when the mages rebelled. What a tragic waste. I had wondered where they had gone. I should have looked harder. You have a plan to get us back, I hope. I have some thoughts on that. They're lovely thoughts. Like little jewels. Solas, have you always lived alone? 
out in the wilderness as an apostate? For the most part. Would that not be incredibly trying? People could be trying. Mankind, most of all. That is an excellent point. That's Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. Stop talking like you're waiting for applause. Just tell me what's going on. What? There's no applause? Fine. <laughs>